video we are going to see the model analysis of partially submerged bodies. I am Dr. Nina Dhamge. What is model analysis of the partially submerged body? Analysis of partially submerged body is referred here as to find the resistance of motion of this body. The best example of partially submerged body is ship. We are going to see in this video the Froude's method. Froude's method is used to determine the resistance to motion of the partially submerged body. The resistance to motion is given by capital R rho L square V square and is a function of Reynolds number and the Froude's. The total resistance to the motion is having two components. One is the surface frictional resistance or the skin resistance which is denoted by RF and the wave making resistance which is denoted by RW. Now the skin friction RF is a function of Reynolds number and the wave making resistance is a function of Froude's number. Now, why Froude method? As we can say, as per the Froude's model law, the velocity ratio is equal to the scale ratio. Vr is equal to Lr. Whereas, according to the Froude's model law, the velocity ratio is under root of Lr. Hence, the velocity requirement for the model of the ship is different for the two conditions. So we cannot apply the Reynolds and the Froude's model law simultaneously. Thus, the dynamic similarity cannot be reached between the model and the prototype. Hence, the Froude has suggested new method. Now, what is this Froude's method? Let us see what is this Froude's method to find the total resistance to the motion of the ship. As we have seen earlier in this video, that total resistance for the prototype is given by capital R is RW plus RF. Whereas, total resistance for the model is given by small r is equal to rw plus rn. So the notations are different. According to Frau, the frictional part of this total resistance that is rf is given by f into the surface area of the contact into velocity to the power n. So we can say it as fa v to the power n. Whereas F and N are the constants depending on the type of ship material and the medium in which it moves. Now, with the known total resistance in the ship model and the calculated frictional resistance, RW for this model can be formed out by the simple wave resistance as total resistance minus frictional resistance. This is to be calculated for the model. Whereas for wave resistance of prototype can be determined from the condition that Rw upon rho L square V square for prototype is Rw upon rho L square V square for the model. So out of all this, the only unknown is Rw. The results of this equation will give us something like this, which says Rw is 
rho p by rho m that is rho r and lp by lm that is lr to the power 3 into rw. So here we get this equation as rho r into lr cube into rw. So if the wave resistance is known, we can calculate wave resistance for the ship model is known, we can calculate the wave resistance for the prototype. Once the wave resistance for the prototype is determined, simply we have to calculate the total resistance as wave resistance plus the frictional resistance. And the frictional resistance is depending upon F a v to the power n and that has to be calculated that is what is rf so we can calculate this is the method for calculating the total resistance r is rw plus rf we can also determine the power required to overcome the resistance which is p is r into vp by 1000 if you want to get it in kilowatts. See one numerical based on this. In this numerical, a hydroplane model is made in the scale of 1 is to 12 and 1 is to 20 and for that the for that model, the resistance is given as 2.22. So, we have to calculate the resistance to the prototype. But here one assumption is given that the resistance is entirely due to the wave formation. That means there is no frictional resistance. So, what is the also we have to calculate the corresponding speed of the model. So the data in this numerical is we have a prototype made into a model with a scale of 1 is to 20. The velocity of the prototype is 30 meter per second. We have to calculate what is the velocity in the model. Now it is said total resistance is only consisting of wave resistance, there is no frictional resistance, RF is 0. So we have to calculate the total resistance for the prototype, whereas the total resistance for the model is equal to the wave resistance of the model and which is given as 2.22 newtons. Now, the Froude's number should be same for this model and prototype. We will use this condition which says Vm upon under root of GLM is equal to Vp upon under root of GLP. That gives it as Vm is under root of LM by LP into Vp. If we substitute the values into it, we get it as 6.71 meter per second. Now, as per this proud model law, as we have seen earlier, we can calculate the total resistance as R by Small, capital R by small r is rho L square V square for prototype divided by rho L square V square for the model. From this, you can see in the substitution like rho P and rho M because the model and is same, uh, the, the the medium in which the model and the prototype are same, so that's why rho p and rho m will be 1. Lp by lm is lr, so that becomes lr square. Vp by vm becomes under root of lr, so that becomes v, vr square becomes lr. So it is lr square into lr, that becomes lr cube, which here is substituted as n cube. So finally what we get is, capital R is n cube into R. That gives it as 20 cube into 2.22. So, we get the total resistance in the ship as 17.76 kilonewton. So, I hope viewers, you have understood 
the Floats method for calculating the total resistance in the ship model. And share this video. Thank you.